Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Uh, today we're going to do a side-by-side -side video on two cameras that are on the market at the moment. Uh, one is the Hikvision Colorview Turbo HD and one is the S-Pro Color Night. So, Colorview, Color Night. It's the same thing, just a different name for it. Um, We've got to do a video on these because they've actually become very popular. Nearly 30% of sales now is Colour View or Colour Night cameras. So let's put them side by side like we've got today and let's talk through some of the features in there, what they do, some of the spec, and let's hand a few points out and see which one comes out on top. Now, um, obviously the first thing that you can see is one's larger than the other. Um, the S-Pro is what is called a mini-dome, and this is just a standard dome. I like the mini-domes. Uh, I think they're far more presentable. Um, they're just a little bit oversized. Not that it's a massive issue, but I like those. So on this one, point goes to the S-Pro. Uh, secondly, you can see the little lights on the bezel here. Obviously, the height vision one's quite a lot bigger than the S Pro, but it makes no difference. These white lights, when they come on, they look the same. Obviously that one's not quite as bright because it's a bit bigger, and that appears to be a little bit brighter because it's small. So, totally even, Stevens. We've had these cameras on the same DVR, which was a, a high vision DVR. Hands up on this one. Um, obviously we love the high vision DVRs. They've got motion detection, Video loss detection, intrusion detection, uh, line crossing detection, you name it, they've got it. And obviously all the notifications through to your mobile phones or devices. So, you know, a bit of disclosure there, we do like them. But when we put them on, these cameras on those machines, they're the same. There's just no difference at all. So, that is not a problem. Um, this is when it starts to get a little bit interesting. People are always asking us what the night vision range is or the light vision on these particular cameras, uh, how many megapixels they've got, um, what's the um, width of the actual lens itself, you know, how, how far does it see, da 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 da. Um, they don't talk about what they're actually made out of and how can we not talk about that. So, very quickly with my little pointy stick. That is all plastic. Simple as that, all plastic. The S-Pro, that's metal. Um, points go straight away to the S-Pro, sorry. There's an excellent argument that Hike Vision have come up with, which is of course, these cameras will never rust. That's why we designed them the way that we did. And it's a valid argument, don't get me wrong. But I like the metal. It's just a more secure, case than that one um i don't think anybody's going to argue about that deal uh also one of the things that jump out is the s pro has a little retaining screw here and of course the hike vision does not now this is where i have beef with hike vision so i'll just grab a hold of this camera and i'll literally move it with my thumb look at that Sorry, not good enough. High vision, if you're watching this, you've got to put a retaining screw onto these colour view cameras. Um, what I find odd, of course, is if it's not colour view, height vision do a mini dome, which is basically the same size as this, and it does a slightly larger uh, night vision camera, which is bigger than this, which is the 2.8mm um, to 12mm variable um, focus camera which, which has got auto focus in it and, and it's got a retaining screw on and to add insult to injury the very same tool that's on the bigger height vision is the same tool that s pro use so i've shown you how i can move that with these with this you've got to obviously undo the fixing screw which allows me to 
move the case or move the camera around so I've got it to where I want it. And I'll just do this finger tight and let's see how hard it is to actually move these. There you are. <sighs> no, that doesn't move. Again, the S-Pro gets that one, I'm afraid. So, there's some of the basics. Now, here's something that's a little bit different. It's hard to see, and I'm not going to start messing around with the cameras, but the S-Pro has got a little hole there. It's ever so tiny. You won't see it on a YouTube video because it won't allow us to upload high enough quality, but that is a microphone. The S-Pro has a microphone, and the Hike Vision does not. S-Pro get the points. No point talking about that any further at all. So, it's not looking good for the Hike Vision camera on this one. As much as I love the DVRs and some of their night vision cameras, I'm just not getting on with this at all. Um, I suppose there is one other thing I should mention. Because I've just spoke about the microphone, um, we've tried, obviously, these two on the same Hike Vision DVR, just to make sure it's a fair test and so we can check the colour and see what the range is on them and what they look like. We couldn't get the microphone to work on the Height Vision DVR. And again, Height Vision DVRs have motion detection, intrusion detection, uh, line crossing, all, all that stuff and all the notifications. So we love them. And there's a reason why we do pump them because they're just that good. They're better than everybody else's and the reasonable price. But if you do put one of these S Pros on, that microphone won't work. And I didn't expect it to, in all honesty, because Hike Vision are not going to share their toys with S Pro. Nor would S Pro share its toys with Hike Vision. So I'm sorry. Um, that's something you'd have to think about. Um, is it a massive big deal? No, not at the moment, um, because these cameras are basically the same cost. I think there's about a pound difference between them. So, because that doesn't have a microphone, and that does, just because it doesn't work, it's clearly the better camera. It's got the same range, it's got the wider of the two lenses, nice metal case, and a retaining screw on it. So, you'd still buy the S-Pro, I'm afraid. I, well, I certainly would. Um, now, I know that the Hike Vision um, colour view like this is going to get a microphone identical to that. Because, of course, we mentioned the night vision cameras earlier on in this video, which is the mini dome and the bigger varifocal camera, or the one with the 40 uh, meter IR range on it. They all have the microphones in already. And all the DVRs have the uh, sound over coax, as does the S Pro one. But, of course, if you want this mic to work, you'd have to buy one of their DVRs. There's no getting away from it. Um, so really that's you know the only real downfall I can see with that other than another thing worth mentioning actually when you use the height vision DVRs and you use line crossing detection or intrusion detection you can get the white light to pulsate when someone walks across a line uh, that you've drawn on the screen obviously that won't work with the S Pro but then again like I said Hike Vision are not going to share their toys with S Pro or vice versa. So, uh, two small downfalls, but the S Pro's got it. I think that's the winner out of this particular test. So, uh, what I've done is I've put one of these S Pro's out. You've all seen these on our videos previously, the Hike Vision uh, colour view. So, I've put one of the S Pro colour night cameras outside on the garage in my back garden. Uh, which looks into my garden position. If you've seen my videos on um, line crossing detection and uh, intrusion detection, you'll recognise it straight away. Um, and I'll put it onto the screen now for you. I'll just have to move the HDMI lead round that's plugged into this monitor, and then you can have a look for yourself. But of course, bear in mind again, we're taking a video of an actual picture, and YouTube just isn't the greatest when it comes to allowing you to upload quality videos. So I'll move that out of the way. I'll just move this over to the right hand side. <clears throat> Bear with me while I change this lead round. And you can have a look 
at this camera. That should jump on for us. There you go. That is a good picture. Like I say, I know it's, it's difficult because I'm taking a picture of a picture and the uploads on YouTube are quite poor sometimes. That is a good picture. Um, that's, well, it was swung before, but I'm afraid the S-Pro have got it now. Uh, that is extremely, extremely good. It's a very wide angle lens, like I say, 102 to 104 degrees. And I can see just past the garage wall here, all the way to that angle there, which is 90 degrees. And here's all the extra that it picks up. Wider angle, less cameras, better value for money. So, what I'll also do for you is, I'll put a side-by-side -side comparison on. I'll take some snapshots. Sorry I can't put them on YouTube. I'll put them on uh, our Facebook page and our Twitter page. And I'll put these pictures side-by-side, -side, captured in HD on a, a Samsung tablet, which is a, a, a high-quality one. And we'll do a daytime snapshot of this, a daytime snapshot of that, which you can see in the background, and I'll leave it till maybe 11, 12 o'clock at night, and then I'll do two night vision ones as well, when these should be in full colour view, as opposed to night vision. And then we'll see what these look like. Go onto our Facebook page and have a quick look, or on Twitter. If you want any more information on either of these two products, go onto the Facebook page, send us a message, and we'll always get back in touch. If you want one installing, We'll get round as soon as humanly possible and get you some up. And of course, remember this, both of these cameras are non-POC. So, they both work down the standard coax, as you can see. So there's no problem there. And of course, they are both 4-in-1 cameras. So they both do CVBS, which is the old standard TV line um, format. And they also do CVI HD, TVI HD, and Analog HD. So they're compatible with most machines. So this is Paul logging off after a video on Hike Vision Colour View and S Pro Colour Night. Have a good day, gang. See you now. Bye bye.